Good evening. It's Thursday, June 9th, 2016. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. A day after the Prime Minister received support from the U.S. government and the EU diplomats to adopt the judicial reform, the Prime Minister opened a door for negotiations to the Democratic Party to adopt the judicial reform with consensus. During his speech in Parliament, the Prime Minister once again invited the opposition to negotiate, but warned the opposition that the judicial reform will be adopted with or without them. The Prime Minister said that the opposition's request for reserved seats is used as a pretext to reject the reform. The draft that will soon come in Parliament is not the majority's draft. It's a joint work, also in cooperation with the USA and the EU. We will continue to keep the negotiation door open. We are not interested in a political victory. The reform will be adopted with or without you. This is undisputable, said the Prime Minister, stating that he is not interested in taking on the role of the triumphant. However, the opposition members insist that the reserved seats option was offered by the internationals. During his speech, the Prime Minister also accused the judge who ordered the suspension of the state police director of being a killer. He also spoke harshly against corrupt judges and prosecutors who, he says, have given Albania a bad reputation with the absence of justice. Regarding the tapping issue, the Prime Minister gave assurance that the equipment has never been used to tap the phones of the opposition. You will see the results of the judicial reform. The vetting process will discover the honest and corrupt judges. You are hoping that these people who have shamed Albania will save you, declared the Prime Minister. Democratic MPs reacted to the Prime Minister's statement asking for an urgent gathering of the Bureau of Parliament, demanding the exclusion of the Prime Minister for 10 days from Parliament. The Democrat MPs gathered around the podium when the Prime Minister was speaking, causing tension. Meanwhile, outside the Parliament, the Vice Chairman of the Socialist Parliamentary Group declared that this is a scenario of the opposition made to block the judicial reform. For the second day in a row and for the fourth time before the media, the Minister of Interior attacked the Tirana Court and the President as the head of the High Council of Justice, again for the selection of the judge who suspended the State Police Director. The court has clearly made an illegal decision. I am asking the president, why was a judge who was dismissed for freeing a person sentenced with 14 years of the abuse of minors, why was he elected? Why was this judge who has freed people who have committed serious criminal offenses elected? Why was this judge elected for this case, asked the Minister of Interior. Adding that several judges and prosecutors support those who do not want the judicial reform. Meanwhile, the prosecution continues to investigate the tapping issue and is investigating the involvement of other officials in this scandal. The Prosecutor General held a meeting today with the head of the State Informative Services, the head of the Prosecutor of Serious Crimes and the Tirana Prosecutor. The meeting was held at the Prosecutor General's office without media presence. Sources from the meeting say that the head of the State Informative Services submitted a report that detailed information gathered regarding movements of the vehicle which allegedly carried the tapping equipment. The Democratic Party chairman spoke harshly against the Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior, accusing them of using mafia pressure against the judges and prosecutors. The DP chairman said that the Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior are attacking the judge as if he were a criminal, for making a decision that is in conflict with their interest. They are speaking against the judges and prosecutors to protect their people who are deep in the tapping mega scandal. They have started their efforts to blackmail the judges in order to deter the investigation. Now they are attacking the judge like a criminal, when in the past they exalted the same person when he freed the Minister of Interior's father, says the DP chairman. Mr. Basha called on the prosecution to continue with the investigation. The DP chairman asked for the resignation of the Minister of Interior. The immediate removal of the Minister of Interior from his duty is a prerequisite to revealing the truth of the tapping issue without being influenced by state crime, said the DP chairman. 
During his visit in Washington, D.C., the Assembly Speaker, Ilir Mehta, held several meetings in the U.S. Congress in which he reaffirmed the excellent relations and strategic partnership between the two countries. During meetings with Congressman Jim McGovern and Joe McCourtney, Mehta briefed them on the reforms progress in Albania, focusing especially on the importance of adopting the judicial reform as soon as possible, which has wide support from the U.S. and E.U., the Assembly Speaker received the U.S. Congressman's support for U.S. assistance for the implementation phase of the reform, for establishing new institutions, for the vetting process of judges and prosecutors to help increase confidence in the integrity of the new justice system and its officials, and for the functioning of the National Bureau of Investigation and the Office of the Special Prosecutor for Anti-Corruption. At the end of his visit in the U.S., the Assembly Speaker held a conversation with security experts, with whom he shared his opinion on the security situation in the region, the refugee crisis, the threat posed by terrorism and organized crime, new challenges in the field of cybersecurity, and threats posed by instability in various regions of the world, particularly the crisis in the Middle East, the Mediterranean Basin, and the eastern borders of Europe. The Central Election Commission decided today to send the Kavaya and Kruya mayor's self-declaration forms to the Prosecution General for a thorough verification. The CEC chairman declared that the data was sent to the prosecution after reviewing them. Several days ago, the prosecution asked for the mayor's self-declaration forms. The Central Election Commission also discussed filling the vacancy created after the Constitutional Court interrupted the mandate of MP Kokodima. Given that the self-declaration form of Edmund Leka, who will replace the mandate position, was submitted only a few minutes before the meeting, the Central Election Commission decided to postpone the case to Friday. Despite the political party's failure to reach an agreement, the internationals are continuing their efforts to help the parties reach a compromise for the judicial reform. The EC Enlargement Director for the Balkans appealed to Albanian politicians to reach consensus and adopt the constitutional package as soon as possible. The EC officials spoke at the meeting of the Association and Stabil Stabilization Committee, where she declared that she is helping with the judicial reform negotiations. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to meet with the majority, and today I will meet with the opposition to discuss relevant issues, especially the judicial reform. We regret that the parties could not reach an agreement thus far. The reform is important to consolidate the rule of law. We can't wait for the parties to reach an agreement and for the adoption in the reform in Parliament, the EC official said. The Minister of Integration was on the same line and asked the parties to agree to adopt the judicial reform. I would like to once again call on all political parties in Albania. It is time to vote on the judicial reform as soon as possible. I hope that the reform will be passed in June, declared the Minister of Integration. The Albanian politicians have recently been in tough debates over the judicial reform, which is required by the internationals, without reaching consensus yet. Yesterday, the U.S. and the EU criticized the Albanian opposition for not showing the same flexibility as the government regarding the adoption of the package with constitutional changes. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Ora News, thank you and good night.